Hello. How do the best performers keep going on TikTok? What's going to grab someone's attention in the first four seconds? Because that's your window that you've got. Sometimes it's shorter depending on what kind of video it is, but you've only, only got your first few seconds to hit someone with what you need. Because if you hit them for the first few seconds, they'll stay for 15. And if you're still good then, they'll stay to 30. This is the Great British YouTubers podcast with me, Neil Mossy. Hello, it's awesome to have you here. This is a place where we share advice, experience and tips with high achieving creators and performers just like you. And in this episode, Stephen McKell. Stephen has over 2.3 million followers on TikTok, clocking up over 500 million views. He also has a YouTube channel, so is absolutely the best person to talk about YouTube versus TikTok. Stephen McKell, what do you find are the hardest videos to make? Hardest, original, original comedy content is very hard to make because you have to be you have to be funny and you have to have a good sense of humor and you have to be quick. How do you make a funny TikTok video? What's your process? How do you go about it? It depends on what I'm making. If I'm making a video like if I'm using like a sound underneath it and it's not me talking, I, I think what's going to grab someone's attention in the first four seconds? Because that's your window that you've got. Sometimes it's shorter depending on what kind of video it is, but you've only, only got your first few seconds to, to hit someone with what you need. So my thing is how what if I make a comedy video that I want them to watch for 15 seconds or more, how can I get the punchline in there if it's non-verbal within the first few seconds? So I think of that, I think of how can I get that in there quickly, then what's the story after that? Because people love watching a storytelling, that if it's, and, and that's hard to do itself if you're doing a comedy video without you actually talking, and you're just doing something that's funny, you try to tell the story through your actions or through the writing on the screen. So you've got to have a plan, and I think plan, but don't plan too much. It's hard to like, do this, but don't do this, you know, go to work, don't go to work. But anyway, um, so you've you've got a plan, but don't plan too much. Plan like this is the beginning, middle and end, and allow yourself to have a bit of leeway of um, spontaneity, have been sp like, spontaneous. I put that in there as well, and just do stuff that you think will be funny and watch it back. But yeah, I think that having a plan for it, making sure you're getting that real comedy punchline the very first few seconds to hook people in. Because if you hit them in for the first few seconds, they'll stay for 15. And if you're still good then, they'll stay to 30. And people that are really intrigued, if you can get them intrigued on what you're doing, then great. If it's stuff like, you know, you actually want to be a character and you want to do like an actual original comedy video where it's just you talking, plan your characters out, plan what you're going to say out, um, film it and film it until it's good. You know, I know those kind of ones where you where you're pretend to be people and you try to be like, oh, I'm going to, you know, you have to make sure, I make sure that my, Timing's quick. So if it's from speaking from people to people, which a lot of TikToks are, um, you've got to get that timing really quick between the characters. You've got to know what you're going to do. Um, you've got to think, how is TikTok going to perceive this? What's my caption going to be? Um, is, the end, is, 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 is it going to be a build up to the end where people know what's going to happen, but are still going to watch? And that's kind of stuff that I'd, my process is. If it's character wise, You've got, to, I've got to make sure it's, it's character developed, and but also be spontaneous throughout it because if it's too planned, TikTok will know. People that are watching will figure it out. That's why it's different to YouTube. YouTube, like, people make sketches of like, actual like, TV shows, right? You can do that on TikTok as well, um, but if it's not authentic and you really have planned it out to the point where it's like, my name's Stacey and I'm doing this. My name's bit, people are going to click right off and be like, that's not fun, the person's too much in their head. That's really interesting. When you when you're planning, do you do you literally write it out, or do you, do you keep notes for yourself? Sometimes I write it out if I, if, I, if, I, if I want to get a point of view across. If it's if it's not if it's a comedy video, but I want to get a point of view of what I want to say in the video, I'll write it out because then I'll, I'll put it in my head. But then my head gets jumbled, mumble jumble. We've got dyslexia, so sometimes it's like, what did I just say? Um, and that's why I always record if I'm doing takes of stuff because sometimes you forget what you said and you have to like watch it back. But I'll write some stuff down. Um, like this is what's going to be like a few of the lines but not all of them because I think you have to have a way of just ad-libbing it and doing it and, and, and not everyone can do that um, and what you might not be good at doing comedy you might be good at singing if you're not good at singing maybe dance if it's not dance maybe it's art stuff maybe it's arts and craft maybe it's point of view content some people do really really great acting on point of view content which I, I, I'm not that great at I'm not because how they edit it and how they make the, the videos it's yeah if you go on TikTok and you just put in hashtag POV you'll find a lot of these like dark videos and you think you're watching like a little episode of, and it's great. People do like 10 part series of stuff and I'm like, I'm watching the whole thing. What you're actually outlining is uh, basically rehearsal on camera. You, you tend to just rehearse record? 
see me at, sometimes I wake up at three in the morning and be like, this is gonna be such a great comedy stuff. Put my phone up and I'd film it there and then because my, my mind was telling me, this is when you're gonna get the best kind of content for this video now. So I'd be in the hallway and mum and dad would be asleep and I'd be like, strutting down it, <laughs> pretending to be like a character. Um, and, and I think that's really great to be, because once you've started d doing that, it's tough to start with. But it's like any content, whether it be comedy, singing, dancing, point of view, mean style, artsy craft, um, telling storytelling, you, you find a way of doing it that works for you, works for people that are watching your content, and for, to, to do well. That's like one of the things when you, when you work with brands, they're, they're, they're stuck with YouTube and Instagram in mind. You can't do that for TikTok. You, you really should, brand, brands are watching this, brands should really open up to the creator and say, well, what, this, is what, this is the idea that we have, and it's great when a, when a, when a, when a brand comes with an idea, being like, we think this, because it shows the understanding of TikTok, and that's great, because any company should look into the platform they're looking to promote an artist a product on. That's just the tea. Um, I, so they come for a plan, and I'll say, this is me just rambling on now, and I'll say, that's great, and, I, and then we'll take stuff like that and say, but this would work on my account because of this. So having that between, some brands have a fully realised campaign, fully realised brief, and I'm like, that's great, and I love, and I love the, the, you know, the music of the product, and that's great, and that works for me and my, my fans, or people that follow me. I don't know what to, I call them sassy squad, because I think fans is like a weird thing. Um, but I'll tell them, this will work, this will be on my account, because we're all different. And so sometimes you get a bit of, sometimes, and I'll be like, I'll do it, like, I, I'm happy to do, because what you've got is good, but I know it won't work. So like, sometimes I've had, I've, I've done it and it's been alright and I've enjoyed what I've done but other times I've been like if I can't do it that way then I'm not going to be able to be part of it because it doesn't fit and, and what it's going to do is it's going to do, it's going to do an injustice to you as the artist or the brand, it's going to do an injustice to me and injustice to people watching. Whereas some people wouldn't do that, some people like give me the money and I'll post you know <laughs> and that's you know that's 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 all right, that's people that you know will do that and, and they have that. Me, I'm not, I I'll, I'll only do stuff that I feel that I'm really passionate about that I can, if it's a song, if I don't click with the song, I won't do it. If it's a, a, a TV show, whatever, if I don't like the idea of it, I won't do it because then that's essentially what every creator should be doing. You, you should be doing it in a way that, okay, this is fun and I think my fans would love watching this or my fans would love listening to this or they're gonna have fun watching me doing this. That's the issue that you have nowadays with brands with you. If that's a conversation you have with someone, that's the issue that you have. Is they're just, they're so like, Instagram driven, Instagram story driven, no. They look like ads. And that's why, <laughs> It's true, it's oh, yeah. true. Stephen, what, what would you say to your 1,000 follower self? Oh, that's hard. I would say, um, you know, stick to your, stick to your guns on, you know, how you want to be perceived um, and how you want to be kind of um, looked at in the world, I think, um, and you're going to have ups and downs and that's all right, um, but it's all right to just to say to people like, you know, no, get away, you don't have to be, you, don't, you know, and, and people, and some people might be a bit mean to you, if, if social media wise, some people are going to be mean to you, or some people are going to have opinions about you that you don't, they've never met you and they never are going to meet you and you have to just really take yourself out of that mindset and just focus on doing what makes you happy because I, I didn't do that to start with I kind of was like oh the people hate and people did, didn't like me on music they, they, I was you know my name is Mr Chubby or something it was so bad um we'll see fat isn't my comedy but I had my name is Mr Chubby but yeah I'd say to myself just stay authentic have fun um and just don't let what other people think of you like annoy you and I don't do that now but it took me a bit of, a, a while to kind of get into that you know I, I got hate on the first my first day on TikTok or on social media in general I've had hate comments, I have them now. So it's just about persevering and realising, my mum taught me, you've got two options, you can really let it consume you and reply to them and kind of defend yourself um, and like think about it or like, you know, really argue with them or you can kind of take it in, let it go over your head and just move on. And so that's what I did. I was like, that's it, that's what I've got to do, just let it move on. If someone's got an issue, that's them. So 1,000 following me, keep doing you and don't let anyone stop you. <laughs> Stephen, what do you think TikTok will be like in 2021? Oh, I, I think it'll be more, um, I think it'll be bigger than it is now. I don't think it's, because I'm looking at the other camera. I think it'll be bigger than it is now, TikTok 2021. I think that the, the fight for the For You page is going to be a lot tougher than what it is now. I do think it'll be bigger and it'll be better and I think that it's going to encompass a lot of stuff that the this all generations can get involved in more and more because it's, it's a platform for everyone. There's everyone of all kind of ages on it. Um, and there's not a, there's never been another app or platform that's rose to this kind of 
fame in such a short time. So for 2021 I do see it being bigger, I see, I hopefully see creators, you know, getting more monetization for the, the work that they do, but um, I think it'll be I think it'll be harder for creators though, I think it'll be a lot, it'll be a tougher game, it'll be like what YouTube was back in like, you know, 2012, 2011, a lot of people just uploading content and it's, you know, it's survival of the fittest and only the strong survive when it comes to being a big creator on it, but in terms of people making content, you know, I think that there'll be more people of all ages that are on it, hopefully. You know, hopefully it's not shut down, you know, these <laughs> things about getting banned and stuff. It never will be like that. But yeah, I do see it, I see it being twice the size it is now and just taking over the world even more. Should we just post yeah. the thumbnails? And please, Hit the subscribe button below if you want to see more great British YouTubers. There's a playlist and a podcast. All the links are in the description below. I'm Neil Mossy and I'll see you on the very next Great British YouTubers.